Okay, so I wanted to talk to you about a fascinating development uh, by one of the most brilliant uh, people that uh, ever lived. This is referring to Walter Russell. Here he is, the guy that kind of looks like Colonel Sanders. Born in 1871 and died in 1963. He wrote a lot of works, including The Secret of Light and The Universal One. He was uh, friends with uh, Nikola Tesla. And uh, Mark Twain would uh, often stop by his place and a lot of other uh, famous well-to-do people because he was literally like an American guru um, that uh, the intelligentsia of, uh, of uh, early America from the 1920s to the 1950s would come and see. He was also a very brilliant sculptor. Very few people have ever heard of him. Here he is next to one of his works. He also sculpted a, some gigantic masterpiece uh, sculptures, including a Mark Twain and uh, a few other things. But uh, what he's famous for is uh, his writings. Now, uh, he also discovered, uh, he uh, found a harmonic nature of uh, elements, as you can see here in his charts. He actually uh, was the first person to, to discover uh, plutonium, neptunium, uh, tritium, and uh, deuterium. And here is his uh, harmonic scale of the elements. And uh, via this harmonic scale, he knew that uh, certain uh, elements and uh, their, uh, and their offshoots uh, must exist. So he actually did discover deuterium, tritium, uh, plutonium, and uh, neptunium. Uh, very fascinating. Um, it's argued whether he actually discovered a few more elements before they were ever discovered, but he definitely uh, discovered those. But his important writings, like the Universal One and the Secret of Light, have been around for quite some time. But uh, recently, if, several months ago, some of his lost drawings were discovered, and I'll have a download link for you below, and they are high resolution, as you can see here. He was a uh, Nikola Tesla actually got all of his uh, writings before they were published, or at least the most of them. Nikola Tesla said of, uh, of uh, Walter Russell that he said his uh, writings were so advanced, they're too advanced for the human race, and that they should be buried in a crypt for a thousand years. His understanding of uh, how uh, force in motion, inertia acceleration, and uh, generally how electricity and magnetism work is uh, the closest anybody has ever come in history to understanding these. Walter Russell got about 85% of, uh, of everything right as far as uh, field theory. He uh, did miss out on geomagnetic precession as pertains to magnetism, but uh, that's forgivable. I mean, understanding that three-dimensional relationship of centrifugal and the centripetal of precession and uh, also, uh, the uh, the phase shift that exists uh, due to polarity is incredibly difficult, but I'm not going to fault someone for being so incredibly, incredibly close. His writings are absolute brilliance beyond compare. Let me take you a look here at how uh, detailed these drawings are. This was done in November 1955. If you actually go through uh, some of these drawings and read what he has uh, written, um, you will be actually very startled. I mean, people would would claw their eyes out and pay millions and millions of dollars to find like uh, a handful of very very important drawings by Leonardo da Vinci or uh, Sir Isaac Newton. But uh, you know this, you know these uh, these uh, lost uh, sketches about the mechanics of the universe have gone basically unnoticed as they were scanned in earlier this year uh, but this is really something that uh, you know if you would really really want to see I mean trust me you uh, if you read about what uh, gravity and space and time really are and understanding uh, the divergent convergent uh, simplex uh, nature of uh, of the mechanics of mother nature if you will you would really really want to see these diagrams like I said the link will be below and uh, these are from Walter Russell the man that Tesla called uh, a genius was friends with Nikola Tesla and if Nikola Tesla says his writings were too advanced for humanity and they should be buried for a thousand years you might want to consider how important these works are um, if you I guarantee you um, I was about to say a money-back guarantee, right? <laughs> They're completely free. 
um, guarantee you that if you don't spend an hour or so actually studying uh, these drawings, zooming in and reading what he wrote, and not having a very, very clear and brilliant comprehension of the nature of the universe in its absolute simplicity. He also reeled very heavily against the cult of quantum, uh, Walter Russell did. I mean, the notion of uh, what, that, you know, as I've said before, that, you know, Mother Nature is a cross-eyed hooker on crack, which is basically how modern quantum and its atomism portrays the uh, cosmic mechanics uh, is absolute uh, absurdity. And uh, with this, he and Tesla and a few other brilliant, uh, very, very brilliant people were uh, in firm conviction as to uh, their comprehension of the true nature of the universe. Um, so I'd like you to see these uh, diagrams that he wrote. And there's also one device in here people have yet to replicate. Um, there are a couple branches of the government that uh, that have squirreled away. Some of Tesla's works were squirreled away. There is one device that he created that's been argued was uh, squirreled away by the United States government that he created. There's some images of him creating this device, and for the first time in the world, also, there's a diagram in uh, these uh, pictures of his device, and I'll show it to you in a second, that he created that was argued that uh, the government uh, stole away. Let me uh, come over to it. And yeah, here's one of the drawings, but here, here's the other one. There's images, uh, a couple photographic black and white images of uh, this device that he created. Uh, very simple, that uh, has some amazing output. I won't get into that right now, but if you never heard of Walter Russell, um, try to reading is the book Universal One. You could find it on any tour site or you know basically anywhere. Just type in Universal One PDF and you'll find it. His understanding in the universe is absolutely singular. Um, just an absolute brilliant, brilliant, brilliant person. Like I said he discovered the elements. He found the harmonic nature of uh, of all the elements. Followed a particular flow chart. And uh, you, would you ever hear about this guy in school? No. But the guy who actually discovered plutonium, neptunium, tritium, and deuterium uh, first and found the harmonic nature of all the elements followed a specific flow chart. Did you hear about this guy in school? Nope. Uh, one of the closest friends of the most brilliant person who ever lived, Nikola Tesla, who said that his work should be buried for a thousand years because they're too advanced for uh, current human stupidity. Have you heard of this guy anywhere in college or school? Nope. Um, should you have? Yeah, you should have. I mean, this is a... Just, just reading this uh, one... Uh, diagram alone and this is all done by hand by him and the writings and to understand what this actually means and says you would uh, be granted a real I mean this is more important like I said if we found a, a, a an old book of da Vinci buried in the wall with some of his diagrams this is far 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 more important than that and yet you know no has anybody really paid attention to this discovery recently uh, you know brought to the world a few months ago nope they, they really haven't so I'd like to like you to have a look at it and uh, if you aren't uh, thoroughly impressed I would be incredibly incredibly shocked um, yeah, he kinda looks like Colonel Sanders there he is uh, Mark Twain loved him close friend of Nikola Tesla a lot of other uh, high-end uh, intelligentsia from uh, around the world in the United States came to uh, visit him. He uh, founded uh, his own uh, foundation with him and his wife. Um, a very little known person, Walter Russell, so check the link below for the download. Okay? Catch you later. Bye.